What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my pyjama party! <laughs> Tonight we are going to do a 1 minute, 10 minutes, 1 hour challenge Midnight edition with Chopin Nocturne in C sharp minor You know, a Chopin Nocturne has to be played in the middle of the night and yeah, I don't know how I got this idea. It was a bad idea because I can already see that my brain is not working right now. <laughs> as soon as it's like 10 p.m., my brain just shuts down. It's nearly midnight here. <laughs> and um, I don't know how this is going to turn out today, but luckily, Chopin tunes are not very virtuosic, virtuoso. Shows what whatever the word is in English. The scores of this challenge are sponsored by Strata Music. Thanks a lot for sponsoring. And you can win the scores by writing hashtag Chopin at midnight. Tell me what you love about this piece. And maybe also count how often I have to yawn. <laughs> Before we get started, let's repeat the rules of this challenge. You have one minute, 10 minutes and one hour to practice a piece that you have never played before. And after every practicing session, you have to try to perform the piece just the way it is in that moment. Okay, let's get started. <laughs>
Like always, let's talk a little bit about what I was doing here before I completely fall asleep. <laughs> One of the first things that I really wanted to pay a lot of attention on was the movement of the left hand. The left hand is like super important, especially in Chopin's music. His left hand gives the right hand all the stability and the freedom to sing. So the left hand should really be something that should be worked on first. In a piece like this where you don't really have a lot of notes to play and you really have to focus on like just a few notes that are written there and you know the melody line is just one line you have a lot of freedom with the fingering and there you should really pay attention on which finger you use for which note i think i spent like half the time and finding good fingerings. Because every finger creates another sound color, it doesn't really make sense to combine specific fingers. If you're interested in which fingerings I've been using, check out my Patreon, you'll find a link in the description box. Okay, we're can find something that Chopin does very often. The right hand has many many notes to play on top of four notes in the left hand. And a uh, trick here is to really make sure that you understand on which notes you want to come together with both hands and then calculate exactly how many notes you want to play on which note. This helps a lot especially in the beginning after many months of practicing and you know creating a lot of stability you can be a little bit more free with this and just play out of your heart but in the beginning you should really make sure that your brain understands what it's doing there. <laughs> As an exercise, I practiced only melody plus bass line to make sure that the bass line is stable because this is the fundament for a good rubato. Basically, rubato means that you can play freely with the right hand or the melody line on top of a stable bass. So this exercise helped me a lot to like hear if I'm still staying in the pulse and then put all the notes together later. <laughs> It was actually a very interesting experience to practice during the night. I'm really not a night person. I wake up very early in the morning and I start practicing very early. The best time for me is really the morning part. I start to become tired after 10 p.m. and I'm just, you know, useless after this. So <laughs> Do you prefer to practice at night or in the morning or just during the day like a normal person? <laughs> I thought it would be great to create like this memory feeling and therefore I tried to use a little bit half pedal so the sound would not you know completely be clean but it's also not completely dirty of course you need a lot of attention and I'm not completely awake obviously <laughs> but I thought that the effect was actually very nice
this was the challenge for today i hope you enjoyed it i'm so 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 tired <laughs> i think i can just fall into my bed now it was actually pretty fun to do this challenge in the middle of the night the difficulty of this piece like technically in terms of you know fast fingers and stuff it's it's of course obviously not so difficult however the music behind it and creating this very clear and suffering sound with so less notes it's a little bit like mozart you're so limited and so reduced in the material that it becomes very very difficult and uh, you actually feel a little bit naked when you play it like every single note counts so actually i would like to give it a very high rank of difficulty i would say it was between eight and nine let's say 8.9 <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, I, I really have to go to sleep now. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. We will see you in the next videos. Bye. <laughs> um, left hand is so... Oh.